Okay, let me just uh, specify again what needs to be done here. Exercise number one. So I told you already. Uh, save it. Brown packs over the lazy dog. Type it. Uh, that's why I gave you a PDF file actually is for you to type this and do this document. Okay, uh, as an instruction. Okay. Anyway. So I think this one, this part, it's easy until the number five. You have to just do this formatting. Okay. Uh, where are we? Apply small caps effect for the whole sentence. So I think this one, some of you might not be familiar, but uh, it's okay. Uh, but for Mac, I'm reading it. Sorry, I'm, I'm not familiar with it. So in the fonts, there are font dialog box launcher. Okay, this one is called dialog box launcher. Paragraph has it. Even the stars has it, and the clipboard has it also. So you click that. There is a window that will. Oops. I'm sorry. I'm not showing you the word. Let me change my sharing. I will share my screen. Okay, uh, Musna, you have a question? Um, um, for question number eight, when I tried doing it, just one line appeared on no smoking, not two lines. I yeah. didn't know how to. It's a single strike through. You're, we're talking about double strike through. Okay, I'm going to show that to you. Once you, uh, again, we'll go first with the small caps. Here it's called dialogue box launcher. Font group has it. Paragraph has it. And so on. So click. This one, you're going to have a dialog box launcher. Okay, the small caps is here. Okay, as you can see also, there is the strike through, double strike through, superscript, subscript. So this is what you need also for that uh, number eight. Yeah. Okay, so double strike through. The single strike through that you're seeing here is this button. Single only, but you need double strike through in number eight. Okay, so if you have a question, raise your hand. Uh, Afra, those who are using MacBook, uh, I'm sorry, your uh, what they call this, your you have to research more on this. I'm not sure I've uh, seen this before, but it took a little, uh, yeah, a little bit of a time. Rawan, yes, tell me. Um, sir, can you please show us the way where you can, oh, never mind, uh, for the replace, is it where editing is? And then Sorry? you can. For that? To replace the word jump to jumps. Ah, okay, so that one is in the home tab and here, replace. Okay. You can use. So, for example, ribbon. I will uh, change this to jumps. Replace all. Okay. Rawan, still, you have a question, or is I it clear now? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now that's what this is all about, the small caps and the strike through. So you have to do this, run spell check on the whole document and accept all the first suggestions. I think in Microsoft Word that is in the review tab, spelling and grammar. Okay, some of you will right click. Uh, if there is a mistake, for example, lazy. Move. Effects. Okay, so some you, some of you maybe will. Uh, oh yeah. Some of 
you will see this, there's a red uh, underline that means it's wrong. You will right click and then there are suggestions also. Okay, but once you finish all what you're typing, you can just go to review, spelling and grammar or click or press F7, F7 key. Yeah, F7. Okay, so those the shortcut for spelling and grammar is F7. Okay, uh, what else? So replicate this and this one. Okay, so you know how to superscript and subscript. Strike through. How about this? You're familiar with how to do a border on a particular number or letter or group or words. So let's say this one. So when I highlight this and I go to home tab and you can see paragraph group, there's the border here and I click the outside border. You can see that it's not only this that will be highlighted. Why is that? Because by default, you go again and click again border and go to borders and shading. By de default, it will be applied to paragraph. Okay, so if you want to change that, apply it to text. Okay, so you can see that only the uh, the word. Okay, so let's try that. 32, highlight this one, borders and shading, apply to text, press OK. Oops, what happened? Borders and shading, text. Uh, I don't have the box yet. Press OK. OK. What else? So it's the same here. For this, it's going to be border for the paragraph. This one for the text. You have to use a blue colored highlighter pen highlight and a highlight the word Arabian Peninsula. OK, so there should be a blue colored highlighter pen here. Save and upload. Don't do this. Do not save. Save it on your desktop or laptop. Do not submit. Do not share anything. Do not email me anything yet. It's not yet the time. I'm going to give you instructions on how and when. Okay? So that's it. I'm going to end the sharing. If you have some question, now is the time. Okay, uh, sorry, I forgot. Uh, the exercise number two, it is your assignment. Okay, you have to do it before our next meeting. You have to be uh, having that already or finish that already. Um, I will explain that in the first part and then we will move to the next exercise. I will not ask or give you time to do it inside our timing next next meeting okay so that should be outside your class okay that you're gonna finish exercise number two okay so if there's a question you can raise your hand uh same mr miss or miss and sam yeah i will not say anything miss or mr okay and Sam, uh, same with exercise number one, you will not submit anything yet. Just save your files wherever you want to save it. Now, I will give you instructions later when, how, where to submit. Okay? Anything, yeah, anything else? Any questions? Okay, I think that's it. Have a nice weekend. Thank you very much. You too, sir. Have a nice day. You can leave now the meeting. Oh, okay, go ahead. I will just uh, save the attendance. No problem. Even if you left, the attendance will still be the same.
Okay, bye bye. So you can leave? Oh, okay, okay, thank you. You can, you can, you can. Thank <laughs> you.